Hello and welcome to Utram Park Station and today I'm going to show you a little park that I think is really nice and basically uh, you have to walk here let me just cross the road here okay so I found a really nice park uh, near Utram Park Station and I think it is uh, sorry it is unscripted so I'm just saying as I think uh, so I think this park really uh, sort of represents what a walkable place is like you can see here already there are, there's a shop here looking quite nice yeah, so it's just up these stairs here, and I think this park is called uh, Duxton Interim Park or something. Maybe maybe it's not called Duxton something else, but it's a small park that uh, basically it's a path. It's also a path that connects some. Okay, basically it goes from Utram Park over here, which I just came up these stairs here, and it goes all the way to Tanjong Pagar which I'm going to walk to now. So you can see really nice greenery here. And it's very shady as well. So just about five minutes ago, I was walking through a street uh, near Maxwell and it was very, very hot. And you can see above me, there are large trees covering uh, the shade so that it's not so hot. And I think this is uh, a really nice example of what a walkable place is like. And this is especially important, especially when uh, here in Singapore we are sort of almost completely fill our land and and basically there are places where uh, the land is being like re redeveloped for new towns and uh, such as like Tenga and okay maybe that's a new town but uh, there are places like let's say Pasiris where like a new MRT station is being built and basically areas are being uh, closed up roads are even being closed up for the construction of these uh, places and I think this is a really good opportunity to repurpose these places and I think this place is like such a wonderful example of what we can do to sort of repurpose these places sorry I think it's a little blurry so let me change the zoom Hopefully that's better, but yeah, yeah. So let's continue. There's also like a, a little shelter here. Yeah, I think this zoom is better, even though the quality is not so good. Anyway, let's continue. So where was I? Uh, talking about yeah, redeveloping our cities, and so. Usually, when you walk around Singapore, especially the towns, the moment you walk out of an MRT station, you are in a dense urban area with city streets and all. But I think this is a great example of what if those streets were pedestrianized? See that there's no cars around except for that little. Uh, bridge on top and I think this is uh, and, and you can see there's an underpass here which is I think what they call in engineering great separation uh, correct me if I'm wrong and not only for pedestrians uh, for cyclists this is also great you have a very wide footpath this is at least like four or five meters long and this is perfect for cyclists to cycle Also, this underpass, which is quite interesting.
so let me just go this side as you can see uh, we are pretty much in the heart of the central business district and you can see all those skyscrapers there and it's quite beautiful yeah. you can see over here there's also some artwork which is really nice and on this side uh, I think this is called Duxton something which is uh, quite a unique uh, part of Singapore let me just get a closer shot over here without the trees it is a very high skyscraper <laughs> and it is just resi residential so you can see here that uh, the sun has been covered by the clouds so it is uh, not so hot now and along this, uh, this entire stretch of park there are these shop houses so it's extremely convenient to like right now it's only on, on, on my video it's about six minutes only six minutes walk away and you get to experience and uh, go to these uh, shop houses so yeah, once again, let me show you this uh, residence here. It is very hard. And imagine if uh, usually when usually when when you think of your house and something, maybe in a Singaporean context, usually the moment you step out, uh, it's a big road with uh, cars and motorcycles and uh, buses and stuff. So imagine if every place was like this. I think it's gonna be amazing and now the wind is blowing and it's even more cooler even though right now I think it's like 32 degrees Celsius which is extremely hot yeah so big nice trees here which cover the Sun and provide shade for everyone again this is the residence so so many people just just right at their doorstep to this park which is amazing. Just cutting down some trees here. No, not cutting down, just trimming some trees here. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, this is pretty much the end of the interim park, but if you go down furthermore, reach the Tanjong Paga area, which uh, has another park which is uh, really nice that you can just walk through. So you, you just saw within the past uh, nine minutes that we've been walking through, we never even reached one single traffic light. We only crossed one small street, which was just now. And then underpass previously as well. So you see uh, residential buildings here and uh, Hawker Centre and Market here, which is really nice. You see people, uh, now it's lunch time, so people buying lunch, eating lunch. And only now and then we reach our first traffic light.
And even so, at the traffic light, you can see that it's a white, uh, white footpath. So, very easy for pedestrians and cyclists to walk through. And right after this uh, traffic light, we are here in another park. Uh, this one is called Trust Link Park, and I quite like the <laughs> name because it sounds like Tuas Link. But yeah. Also, there's some chickens there. So even even in this really dense area, there's uh, all life here. You can see it is a very very dense area. Okay, hello and welcome back. Uh, sorry, I apologize uh, because my phone overheated. So let's just continue on here. And so this is basically the second, you know, the third, third street crossing. And again, it's not a traffic light, it's just a white zebra crossing, which is uh, very, very walkable and cyclable. So we are pretty much approaching the heart of uh, Tanjong Paga. Uh, right in front is Tanjong Paga MRT station. You can see uh, people bring their pets out here to play. Yeah, today is a very hot day. 31 degrees but it feels like 36 degrees. And my phone overheated just now. <laughs> yeah. So let me just uh, walk this side because I spotted some uh, advertisers and I don't want them to sort of disturb me while I'm recording this video so let me just walk this side to avoid them <laughs> and it is again very windy so very uh, cool, cooling and with all the buildings and trees uh, there's good shade as well So essentially, this is uh, basically the end of uh, the entire park and halfway. But let me just walk in over here to Tanjong Paga to finish this off. Oh, bye. Yeah. So there's also a bicycle parking here with a lot of bicycle space. So is very convenient and so maybe just, let me just start wrapping up here so i think this is a excellent example of what a walkable place is like how we can make places walkable and you can see just now maybe you can even hear that it's uh, very very peaceful very quiet no cars around uh maybe i'll insert a clip of like a lot of cars or maybe uh, Maybe I'll walk there to show you the comparison between uh, a walkable place and a uh, usual street with a lot of cars and stuff. Yeah, so maybe if any Singapore or maybe any other city uh, designer watches this video, you can use this as an example of uh, what a walkable place is like. So right now we're at Tanjong Baga. And this is a very nice, uh, very, very busy district. All skyscrapers and businesses here. Yeah. Pop-up store here. Ooh, Japan Rail Cafe. I actually never knew that this place was here. Uh, which is interesting. <laughs> Maybe I'll check it out. Also with the Thompson East Coast Line opening. Maybe, maybe on the opening day itself, I might go there. <laughs> yeah. So, 
yeah. very walkable place very uh, I mean sometimes it's hot but also very shaded as well and yeah wait uh, did, I, did I mention that yeah so if any city planners are watching this video feel free to use this as an example of how we can design our cities better And we are soon approaching a major intersection of uh, things, no, not center, uh, some road and Maxwell Road, which is a very uh, busy intersection. Maybe you can get an example of like a comparison of a very noisy and busy street. Then you can wind back the video to see just how quiet the park just now was. Maybe you can already hear it. Yeah. But anyways, uh, thanks for watching the video. I know it's pretty much just like 15 minutes of me just walking through a place. But I think it's a very good example of... Uh, oh my god. How many times have I said that throughout the video? <laughs> uh, it's a good example of what a walkable place is like. Yeah. So, this is a very busy intersection with a lot of cars and stuff. So yeah, I think I'll end the video here. Uh, thanks for watching. See ya.